Hello and welcome to AT Auto. Today we have a very special guest, Mr. Tarun Garg, who is Chief Operating Officer of Hyundai Motor India, to talk about Hyundai strategy on SUV segment and electrification. Welcome to the show, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Dibang Show. Sir, first of all, I would like to understand about the Hyundai strategy on defending the SUV market share. You know, what kind of products we can see in future from Hyundai? Look, uh, Hyundai has always been uh, where the customer is. And right from the time we introduced the Creta in 2015, when SUV segment was only 13-14% of the market, to now when SUV segment is 42% of the market, Hyundai has always been a pioneer in introducing new models. Now we have a big range, almost seven models. And uh, of course, thanks to that, our SUV contribution was 53% last year. And of course, 22 was also the highest ever sales from Hyundai since our inception in India. So we are very, very, we understand that the customers are really going towards SUVs. So uh, while I cannot divulge the details, I can only say that you will see, uh, of course, models in every range, but more definitely in the SUV segment. Okay. Sir, one of the most important segment of the SUV is the uh off-roading vehicles you know many car makers are now pitching into that what is your opinion on that particular segment and is Hyundai looking at that particular segment to bring any product there look I think this is a very good question but if you see the two song what we, we were very surprised is that the, 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 the top end variant you know which gives this four wheel option is now contributing more uh, almost 20-25% uh, to the bookings so we have seen a great interest from the customers towards that segment also yes it is still maybe in, in the broader sense of things maybe a niche but as more and more people are going towards weekend activities they want a car which can seamlessly move from a to b you know so i uh, you know from the two wheel drive to a four wheel drive so i think uh, tucson has really done very well and we are looking now to increase the capacity to almost five to six thousand a year we used to do about one thousand tucson's earlier so you can see that the indian customer is changing he is really wanting and why is he looking at hyundai not only because of the products because of the technologies uh, you know we have such a modern diesel engine petrol we provide turbo we provide so many automatics but also because as a brand i think we have been able to really appeal to the generation mz and by the kind of various activities that we have been undergoing as we look to, towards the indian market you know the car market has moved from the hatchback sedans to now suvs but hyundai is still believing you know you have recently uh, bring brought out the new grand i10 and aura so what is your opinion on that particular segment and do is hyundai really serious about that hatchback segment and how do you see things going forward from here look uh, hyundai is a full range manufacturer and always you know last 27 years we have tried to be where the customer is and india still yes while uh, definitely preference is shifting towards suv but uh, still the hatch market is almost 30 33 percent 34 percent sedan market also is about 10 to 11 percent so uh, very clearly our focus will be where the customer is and hatch we have i10 uh, Neos uh, and uh, of course the i20 as well and we have the CNG versions there then we have the Aura the Varna doing very well in the sedan segment so we're not ignoring any segment what like what I said where the customer is we are there at the same time what is happening is the customer aspirations are are improving increasing even in those segments so they want more and more technology more and more features and that is what we are trying to provide to them. Coming back to the Indian car market sales, you know, this year has been quite exciting for the all car manufacturers. Everybody is recording their highest sales ever. Uh, what is your opinion? You know, many car man manufacturers and experts are saying, you know, next year would be a little tough for the car market because of the Russia-Ukraine war and other supply crunch. What is your opinion on that? So, look, uh, I think the momentum is very strong and even now we are sitting on a back order of 116,000 uh, customer bookings. Uh, last year, of course, was the highest ever for us. Uh, semiconductor situation, there are some concerns. There are concerns relating to China COVID. Uh, there are concerns relating to some recession news in the US. Uh, at the same time, I think we have more reasons to be optimistic. Indian economy has shown a lot of strength and uh, robustness. So we have to keep an eye on uh, those challenges. But things are looking uh, pretty decent uh, in 23 as well. Coming back to your your recently launched your iconic Ionic Five and at a very aggressive price, you know, talking about the electrification strategy of Hyundai, you have now two products in your portfolio. Going forward, do we see a mass EV from Hyundai as well? 
Look, uh, 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 when we launched the Kona in 2019, EVs were only being talked about. Kona helped us to understand the market. And today, uh, with the launch of the Ionic 5, I think it's a big, big uh, change in the electrification landscape of the country, I would say. Because uh, Ionic 5, like you use the word iconic, it is actually iconic because it provides you, uh, it comes with the eGMP platform. There's a lot of space inside the car. There are a lot of connected features. It has a V2L function, which means you can load appliances, you know, using this car range is 630 kilometers good ground clearance i think it is in a very very complete uh, room for you you know office space or a, or a, or or a, or a home for you and you can do so many things with the ionic 5 so i believe it's going to be a very big game changer in the indian electric landscape and and we are very very excited with the ionic 5 you talked about more models definitely yes uh, we are going to launch more models and we are working on we want to be present in every segment uh, you know going forward